In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the lookup tables or the LUTs in Photoshop. So let's pretend you've downloaded one of these amazing LUT packs. I'll put the download links in the description below. So after downloading the LUT pack, go to downloads here. So this is where you're going to find your downloaded files. So what you're going to do or what you have to do is to extract the files that are inside this zipped file. I'm using Winler. I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to select extract here. So this is the folder that we want. Let me just minimize this. So what you're going to do from here is to go down on this adjustment layer, this circle here. I'm going to left click on it and then I'm going to select color lookup here. So this color lookup box is going to pop up. So go on 3D LUT file here and then select load 3D LUT here and then select load 3D LUT. So from here, I'm going to look for that folder I extracted a few minutes ago. I'm going to go to the download folder here, double click on compressed, and then I'm going to open the wedding LUT pack. I'm going to open it. Let me just move it here. I'll start with the uh, champagne. I can click here or I can just double click on the action. This, so this is our before, this is after, this is our before, this is our after. If the effect is too much, we can just reduce the opacity. So let me just take it to 100%. I'm going to go back to 3D LUT file. I'm going to click here and then load 3D LUT. I'm going to select crisp brown. So these are before, so after, so before, so after. If the effect is too much, you can just reduce the opacity. I'm going to go back here. Then I'm going to select load 3D LUT. I'm going to select fountain. These are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to select load 3D LUT. Try one tree. If the effect is too much, you can just reduce the opacity. It's a before, it's a after. Go back, load 3D LUT. Then I'll try this one. It's a before, it's a after. Take it to 100%. It's a before, it's a after, it's a before, it's a after. Go back to load 3D LUT. Then I'm going to select sticker. It's a before, it's a after. The effect is too much, you can reduce the opacity. With this photo, I think the fountain looked amazing. So I'm going to select the fountain. I want to take the opacity to 100%. It's a before, it's a after. Let me close this. So this is how you can use the LUTs in Photoshop. If you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my retouching actions pack. The link will be in the description below. If you want to learn how to install the actions in Photoshop, you should check this video on top. And if you want to learn how to retouch using my retouching actions pack, you should check this video down here.